Shoo! Never done that before, but welcome guys to a new video. Um, today we have got a special video. I'm actually going to be unboxing and reviewing um, ducks and bucks hunting gear. Uh, so I have only two of the packages at the moment. I've got one from ducks and one from bucks, um, but I've got another two ducks on the way. So I'm going to have three ducks and one buck, so four things. Um, basically, this is just new hunting gear, um, seasoning, and all the stuff you see in Flair's videos. So, yeah, this is going to be a personal review from the UK. I have never seen anybody from the UK do a review um, of bucks and ducks hunting gear. Um, so, yeah, if you're watching, if Flair's watching out there, hello, how you doing? A um, bit about ducks, uh, well, bit, well, bit about uh, ducks. Um, I think Flair, Fishing with Flair... Um, best YouTuber on YouTube, I think, and his friend, uh, I think it's Bobby Guy Films, uh, they teamed up to make some duck hunting gear, and that is how it happened. Now I've got a selection, I've just got a selection in here, I'm going to be doing this in parts, because the other two parts are, uh, well, the other two packages are still in the US at the moment. Uh, so how much did I spend altogether? $1,000. I spent $1,000 between four packages now you might be going Tyler you are crazy um but yeah I spent a thousand dollars which is probably like 800 pounds in the UK but I've got new t-shirts I've got new jumpers cold gear jackets uh, dog hunting stuff um some other st random stuff as well thermal trousers all the stuff you need to go uh, duck or uh, deer hunting uh, I said I wanted to do some of that in the new year. This may be the new year you're actually watching this because um, I don't know when their mother packages are going to be arriving. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into it, really. Uh, thanks for Flair for being awesome. Um, I picked all this up on Black Friday, by the way. So it was kind of, it was cheap, but it wasn't cheap, if you get what I mean. But that was because of the US shipping. Um, they went mad. And it was like thirty dollars for U.S. shipping, but hopefully this is going to be a good, um, good little review for you. So let's get into it. The first package I, well, I have got is a box from Ducks. Now some of this stuff I've already opened because I've just been so excited to jump into it. So this has got my jumpers in. It's got some dog gear in. It's got some seasoning. Um, the seasoning's downstairs because we actually used it. There's going to be a upcoming video going to be testing out the seasoning. So we're going to get some chicken wings for each seasoning. And yeah, but I've got another um, seasoning box coming soon. So uh, you guys can see what it looks like uh, straight out of the packaging. So let's get um, into it. The only really downside I can say about ducks and bucks is their sizing. Um, their sizing guides are a little bit weird. Um, some clothing don't have it, so some of these jumpers and t-shirts don't have it, um, but some of them do. That's probably something I should um, suggest to fix in. I feel like every single piece of clothing you sell should have a size guide below it, or you should have a, just a sizing page, because your t-shirts are gonna be the same. Um, I'm not sure if your jumpers are the same, but I would imagine all the gear is slightly similar. So that is the biggest, but that was a big turn off for me really, because I kind of had to hope that um, all this stuff would fit. Luckily it does, um, from what I've tested, um, and they recommended going a size up in everything. So for stuff that I wouldn't wear, so you, I, I won't wear a 2XL, but I've got a 2XL jumper here. Um, it's very big on me. But once it goes in the wash a couple of times, it's going to shrink. So it's going to fit back to that large slash extra large um, feel how I like it. Because I like my jumpers quite uh, roomy, but obviously the 2XL one's quite big on me. Um, but yeah, let's get into it really. So like I said, I got some dog products as well. Let's put the box down here. So first thing, um, all this stuff came in fancy packaging. Um, here's my like recycling bag but as you can see it came with oh does it not have the ducks logo on it oh i thought it did um but it all came with like nice beautiful tags like that so it came with like nice tags 
there's another little nice tag there. So it came with proper proper tags and all that. This is just my like dumpy dumpy bag. So what we've got net first is a nice dog collar for my dog. So I've got Siberian Husky. Um, there should be a video in this video. Uh, there'll be a video like on screen in this video um, of her drinking out a bowl because I bought a bowl. But yeah, dog colour, I think that cost me about $19, which is probably like 15 quid. It's very, very good. Um, it doesn't fit her at the moment, but it feels really high quality. Um, it's got a nice metal uh, buck on that as well. Yeah, it feels really, really heavy duty and, and nice. So that is the first item. Then we've got, um, I'll probably do the jumpers afterwards because I've got quite a few jumpers in this video. Then we got the gun cleaner so this is a ducks all-in-one gun cleaner uh, I'm not sure how good this is I haven't tested it on my guns yet but that is going to be um, part of a video I might do I might do tested it I mean it smells smells all right I don't know I don't really know um, I haven't really cleaned my guns lately but basically it removes lead powder plastic and copper foiling um, and basically provides extra protection against rust and corrosion so it's a gun cleaner and lubricant big lube guy big big lube guy there it is there it is so i got another one on its way um but these are so good just to chuck in your blind bag if you got a blind bag luckily i haven't I, I have got one in this video but i don't have one in this like packaging so that is the next item so then we've got some other stuff. So we would have the seasoning. This was in this packaging. Um, I don't have the seasoning at this moment in time uh, because the seasoning is downstairs, but I will do a little thing with the seasoning. Um, let me just, I have got a sticker somewhere. Not sure where that's gone. Oh, there it is. It's actually there. So I got a sticker to go on the side of my uh, gun barrel, uh, wherever it is, here it is, and it says, if it flies, it dies. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but it says, if it flies, it dies. So that's going to be going on my shotgun, on a new shotgun that I'm going to buy. Um, that's that one. Then we are going to go into the dog bundle. So this dog bundle cost me $49, it included a dog bowl, um, it included a dog lead, and it included do two dog, I think they're called bumpers, it's basically like a long stick thing that you throw. Um, here are the bumpers, I think they're called bumpers. Yeah, bumper. So we got um, two, two bumpers, one white, which is a nice, nice white, and it's also got little, little ducks on it. I'm not sure if you can see, you might need the orange one. The orange one might stand out a little bit better. I'm not sure if you can see the little um, the little duck symbols on that. But that is two nice bumpers um, that we can tr we can try out with the dog. So basically it's a retrieving thing, you throw it and they bring it back and it kind of simulates um, like a duck being like brought down. So I might try this out in the field with her. Um, I'm not sure she's going to do very well. I don't. I don't. I really don't know. Um, I was debating on getting another dog, uh, like Flares. He's got a Labrador um, for hunting, so I may or may not get a new dog um, for hunting. And she's more of a family pet. Um, but I will try these out with her and see if she um, does well. So here is the dog bowl that came with it. I actually got two dog bowls. Um, one for her food and one for eat, eating. She's got one downstairs right now, and there'll be a clip now. Do you like your new bowl? Mm hmm. Do you like it? No? Yeah? Yeah, you're going to try and drink from it? You're just going to drink from the sides. There we go. So that is the one of her drinking, and here is the bowl up close. So you only get one bowl in the kit. I paid fourteen ninety nine, I think, for it. or forty was either fourteen ninety nine or twenty four ninety nine. That's a nice, big, big, big thermal. It's got uh, rubber on the bottom. This is the best bowl I've 
personally seen. It's really, really nice. Stainless steel inside. Um, it's, well, it's about, about that thick. About that thick in, um, like, that thick of water you can get in there. So you can get a nice amount of water in there. Um, that is the dog bowl. And I think that's pretty much it for all the um, little bits. So, because you, you might be wondering, hey, you haven't really ordered much, have you? Um, I've ordered more clothes than I have equipment. Um, these were just little things that I wanted to um, just get really to add on. So here we have a nice white t-shirt. This is a blue rocket t-shirt. So I got this in extra, a, a double XL, so a 2XL. It's um, very big on me, but when it goes in the wash, it'll shrink. So it's a nice white t-shirt. You've got the nice ducks logo on there. And then on the back, I love this. I love this bird. Look at that. Look how nice that bird is. It's a nice blue, well, it's a blue duck. It's a nice blue duck. And then you've got the ducks logo on the back. You'll probably see me, like, in my videos from now on, this is all I'm going to be wearing, just because, like, the quality is so good. For a t-shirt that costs um, $24.99, this is amazing quality. It's, like, it's better than this. This cost me, I mean, this only cost me, like, five quid or something, something like that. I mean, it's got a rip, it's got a tear there from where the dog's been chewing it. Um, but this is a definite, definite, def definitely a big upgrade. Um... I love it. I love this t-shirt. My dad loves it as well. I just love the bird on the back. Um, we've got some more t-shirts in this video. So um, we will go through that. Then we've got some sweatpants. Now I actually ordered a um, I ordered a black pair and they have sent me an olive pair. Now I, I'm not I wouldn't say I'm annoyed about that because I wanted to order the olive pair anyway, um, and it does do, do really good with um, the outfit, but I think they should have um, they should have asked me, I think, beforehand, instead of just going, oh, we'll send them an olive one, because I might not have wanted an olive one, and then I might have had to return that, which would have cost me more money to ship it back, and things like that, so that's probably something they should do in the future, um, is just warm, warm people. Luckily, I wanted the olive one anyway, and I have actually ordered a black pair, um, which may or may not be a black pair. Um, you'll see later on in the video when them packages come. Uh, but it may just be an olive pair again. But the olive pair is really nice. So I bought these in an extra large. Uh, I probably should have bought them in a large. But again, when I wash it, it's going to shrink. Uh, well, I did actually break it first thing, so it, it's a little bit shredded on the sides here because what I did was um, I pulled it that way to like tighten it up and then it ripped. Um, don't do that, pull it this way. But again, for $29, you can't really complain. It's got a nice duck's pocket on the back. Uh, it's obviously got the nice logo there. These are thermal. Uh, these are really really nice um quality things these are probably meant to go for like like underneath your uh trousers that you're gonna wear um i probably won't be wearing these uh like just wearing them i mean around the house is fine but outside work i won't be just because uh they're not they're not the warmest things but they are they are really really nice quality and i love them um so that's them Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast. I mean, I quite I don't want to make this video long, um, and my tea's on, and I just want to get get the video out of the way. So next we have two jumpers. Now these are my favourite jumpers. This one is a old school camo. You're going to see a lot of this, but uh, ducks logo t uh, jumper. This one is the thermal one. So I'm not sure if you can see, I've got two here. I've got a thick cotton one, which is the heavy duty one, and the um, like the thermal one. If I can get a sleeve, you might be able to tell. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can really tell from that, but like from there, this one's the thicker one. Let me move, move, move it down a bit. This one's the thicker one. 
This one's the thinner one. Um, so this is what I use when I go dog walking. Um, yeah, this is what I use to go dog walking and things when I'm outside more. But this one I use for inside. Uh, it's still warm and it's beautiful material inside. Like, look at that. Look at that, it's really, really soft, it's nice. I actually put this one on because I will happily walk around the house wearing this just because of how nice it is. Now this one, I should have probably got a 3XL in. So these are both a double XL, um, but this one fits more like an extra large. So it fits like how I want it to fit. It's not it's not super tight and it's not, it's not too loose, see? Perfect fit. I love, I love this, perfect fit. Um, really nice, you know, you got all that as well. This is a beautiful jumper, but when I wash this, this is gonna probably shrink a little bit. Um, so I probably, I would advise for this one to go two sizes up, um, just because this one's gonna shrink and I'm probably not gonna wanna wear it after it shrinks. So I'm probably not gonna wear this one too much outside to get dirty because I want to keep this this size. It's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, jumper. Um, I love this jumper. This one is, a, this one's too big. Um, so when I wash this, this one will shrink. But this is a thick, nice, thick cotton um, jumper. I love it. I've already been out in the field with it, kept me warm, kept me dry. Um, got nice hoods on. You know, you don't look like a stuck-up alien, because some have, like, the thing stuck up. I know this one does. Um, yeah, that little stuck-up thing there. I don't I don't like it, though. This one's nice. It's clean. Um, keep the, like, I'm getting hot now. I've got my window open. My door's open a little bit. Um, heating's not on or anything. But I, I love this. I, I really do like this jumper. I love it. So definitely recommend this. Um, I re definitely recommend this one as well, just because of how... Um, hot ears. I've got a, um, I've got another one on its way actually, and I think that is everything for my first ducks order. Um, tell me in the comments what you think of that ducks order. Do you think it was worth it? I think this order came to about three hundred and eighty dollars, just because these were like seventy quid each. I think this first order I didn't get in the Black Friday sale. Um, I'm quite disappointed. I'm actually quite pissed off actually. <laughs> I didn't get it. Um, I didn't realise they were doing Black Friday, and because of all the time zones and that, uh, I just didn't wait because I wanted it there and then. That's how I am. If I don't, if I want something, I want it there and then. So I bought it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it cost me three hundred and eighty dollars, which is like two hundred pounds, something two hundred and fifty pounds. Uh, so it was quite a lot of money, but definitely worth it for the gear. I mean, this is this is gonna last me, man. It, this is gonna last me for a good, good couple of years, unless I put on weight or I lose like really like loads of weight and I need to buy new gear. But this is what I'm gonna be buying from now on. I mean, I got a shirt of the month on order every single month, so every month they're gonna send me a new shirt. I paid for November's, but I didn't make it to November, so they get the so they're shipping me out this December's. Um, but this is this is amazing, man. I, I I love these hoodies. So that is the first order from Ducks. So we got two more of them on the way. Um, one of them's just got like blind bag, gun case. It's actually got a duck call as well, because uh, I've got a duck call over there, which is like a cheapy one that cost me four pound off eBay. Um, but I want to do like a like a sound test on both of them and then I want to do like a video in the field me trying both of them out to see like cheap versus expensive to see which one wins. Um, what next? So I guess next is my ducks order. So again I have taken some of this out because I wanted to um, wanted to test it. Uh, first thing I have ordered is a nice uh, what do you call these? Bomber jackets? Are these bomber jackets? Or are they um, overshirts? I don't remember what they're called now. But it's basically an armless jacket to go over um, of Ducks. You've got the nice Ducks logo, and uh, Ducks are uh, Bucks logo, sorry. So you've got a nice deer there. Um, and it's nice and fluffy inside. This one cost me 
it says no i think this one cost me 47 dollars uh which is really good it's nice and warm uh and i will put it on now to show you guys it looks like it's made from a company called dry duck so it's probably it's not a bucks made product like these ones are uh but it's obviously got the bucks logo on there but i bought this is in an extra large uh it's a little bit too big but but when i have my thicker hoodie on i'm going to be rocking up like this in 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 my blind shooting my deer it's got pocket two pockets here uh then nice little pockets it's got and pop that back on and i'll be testing this out in a minute when i go on the dog walk it's got a pocket here which is another popper pocket um nice line in here look at that line in uh it's like fluffiness and then it's got nice line in here and then it's got two and pocket there and a pocket there so you get two four five pockets in this i might just wear this for the rest of the video <laughs> and i'm getting really hot now this stuff is made to last I bought an extra large in this one. This is what an extra large um, looks like. It's quite, um, it's quite big and it's quite long. So yeah, and then it's got a little, little logo there. Um, yeah, I mean I like this. I think this was definitely worth the forty nine or forty seven dollars. I think they had this up before Black Friday for eighty. Um, personally, I'm going to say it, Flair, if you're watching, you probably know Flair, Flair, Flair fans. I probably wouldn't buy any of this if it wasn't for Black Friday. Um, Black Friday, some of this stuff is really expensive. I mean, this hoodie cost me $69, which was normal price. Um, but, like, this stuff, this was $80 before the shipping, uh, before the um, Black Friday stuff. Um, it's, it's definitely worth it. Quid, but personally i wouldn't spend that uh but 47 dollars i mean i got it for a deal i couldn't say no and i mean it goes well it's clothes that i haven't tried on before um so i might look like a right idiot right now just with different styles but i want to move away from black saying oh, i've got a bag full of black t-shirts in there um that is another thing you guys should do t-shirts that you can pick a color like there's t-shirts in here where i would like a blue or black or grey or pink or orange or white or something um like maybe that t-shirt in there that i got uh the blue rocket one from ducks uh maybe i wanted that in black you know what would looks that would look sick in black um so that's another piece of advice really uh to have black well to have multiple choice of um t-shirts really that is probably my only other advice uh, let's take this off now. It's getting a bit too hot. Nope. I need to take it off properly. Right, so that is the first piece from Bucks Hunting. I haven't got any more of them on, on its way. Uh, like I said, I've only got my two two um, two ducks on the way now. My chair is making a lot of noises. Let's go on to some t-shirts. So these bags look quite... Crap. They, I think they could have done a little bit better on the on the um, on the bags, but then again, it, it is only a bag. Uh, so this is a Bucks Rut T-shirt. Um, cost me fourteen ninety nine in the Black Friday sale. It is twenty four ninety nine if you go to buy it. Oh, this feels nice. Nice T-shirt again. This this is in two XL. They've got a little bit of. Um, of the of the uh, logo of oh, uh, Jesus Christ when when, when I seen that when it when it was like that I was like oh my god is that a toddler t-shirt no that looks nice that looks like it'll fit me this is 2xl so here again you've got the nice uh, bucks logo and then on the back you got look at this look at that design you got a nice um, Oh, you've got a nice deer there. I never guess that's going to be a buck because it's got the antlers. It's a male, male, uh, male deer, buck. That is a really, really nice t shirt. Um, this probably would have looked nice and white as well, or grey, or something like that. Uh, probably not going to put this t shirt on um, now, but you'll see me definitely wearing it in future videos. 
So that's that one. What's next? We've got a Bucks Arrow t-shirt. This is an, again a size 2XL. But these feel like they're going to fit as an XL. Alright, let's have a look again. Alright, the tag's gone but it's got a nice tag in it. Um, go, go, go. So it's got a nice Bucks so Bucks Hunting Co. I love it. I love the logo, guys. Ah, uh, that's not as big as I was expecting it. I was expecting that to be a little bit bigger. But basically, it's a it's an arrow. It's an arrows. Um, so for your deer hunting, I was expecting that to be a little bit bigger because it looked bigger on the website. But again, I haven't tried it on, and I won't be trying it on in this video. I'll be trying it on after the video. Um, but it's a nice T-shirt, and I'm happy with it. Really, I love it. This probably would have looked really good if we had a white t-shirt and all of this was black. That would have looked really nice as well. Um, another t-shirt. This t-shirt is Buck's Bow Hunter. So I'm going to say it's probably a bow hunter t-shirt. Oh, this feels good quality again. So it's got a nice logo. They're, these are all 2XL. Um, it's got that's got a nice um, got a nice deer on that. Oh, I like that. The next generation of whitetail. That that's a nice t-shirt as well. I like that. These these are really really nice. These are nice designs as well. Um, I've already got loads and loads. So who's that? Is that going to be? Is that Flair? Is that um, is that banjo? Who who is that in the t-shirt? Um, but I I really I really like that t-shirt. It's another one. Um, I'm not sure if we've got any t-shirts left. Let's have a look at this one. This one feels really, really nice quality. Um, nice tag inside. It's got a nice. Um, it's got a nice deer there, and it's got a nice arrow as well. So this is like um, your uh, broadhead. That is really, really nice design on that as well. Again, that might could that would have looked really nice on a white t-shirt, but um, yeah, I mean I'm happy with that. That's a really nice t-shirt again. Um, I don't think I've got any more t-shirts. I got this, which is I'm not going to get it out, but this is a orange blazer. So this goes over your hunting gear. Um, I think that might be a law over there. You got to wear orange when you're deer hunting. Um, over here, I'm not sure if that is a law or not. I have to research that. But I bought this um, just so when I was deer hunting with friends, family, they would know where I am and I stand out. You can get hats, you can get wristbands, armbands. I think if you're wearing orange, um, it's kind of just better for you. I mean, this is I'm going to be wearing this stuff. And I'm going to be blending in with the trees. So you need to have a little bit of brightness on, on you. And the last item from Ducks is fallen out. A uh, Ducks Bucks, sorry, I keep getting confused with the name. This is the nice bag it came in, Bucks Hunting Co. But uh, this one is the Bucks Thermal hoodie. So this is like this hoodie again. It's not a fit cotton one. They didn't have a fit cotton one. But this is a Bucks one. Look at that. Look how nice that is. It's got deer all over it. Um, it's got a nice tag on it, Bucks Hunting Co, $69 this one, but I think I got this one for 40 something. Um, yeah, look at the little deers on it. That is a really, really, really nice jumper. Yeah, really nice. So, I guess I will see you guys when the next two packages arrive. Um, I'm not sure when that is, that could be tomorrow, that could be next week, that could be next year. So, um... See you guys in a bit. Phew! Welcome back. Um, it has been a long time since I actually did like the first part of this video. Um, it's been a few weeks after Christmas now in the new year. So I hope everybody had a good Christmas and happy new year to everybody as well. So we're on to our last package from Ducks and Bucks. So here in the previous part, I was going over my Ducks um, waterfowl uh, co stuff and then I was also going over my bucks uh, stuff so we've got the ducks hunting and uh, the buck hunting so the deer hunting 
Um, so I've received another order. Uh, this is actually the last order. Well, I say the last. My last order was the shirt of the month, but it got lost uh, being refunded. Uh, if it turns up, it turns up, and I might do a video on it, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. I do actually have another shirt of the month, which actually came. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's got a mallard on the back, um, a duck, uh, uh, but I don't know where it is. It might be in these packages. I don't know. It could be in my wash basket. Sorry about the mess as well. Like I said, it's just been after Christmas. Um, and I haven't had time to do anything because I've been super, super busy because uh, we've just recently opened a new business. Um, I'm probably not going to go into it too much on this channel. It's got nothing to do with this channel, actually. Uh, but I've opened a new business now. So my time is kind of related around that at the moment. Um, so, yeah, last order of uh, ducks. So what have I ordered? I've ordered some good things. Um, I've ordered a nice new coat. Uh, and I've also ordered another jumper. I've actually got two of these jumpers. I've got the Fin Fin Fin, this Fin jumper, and then I've got the Fix sweatshirt, and then I've obviously got my Bucks um, camo one as well, but I got another Ducks one. Um, so yeah, let's pretty much go over what we got. So I think we'll go with this bag first. Um, so in this box, we have, oh, we've got the seasoning. So here is the seasoning I was mentioning um, in the last uh, video. I was actually meant to do a tester, and I will still do a tester. Um, we've been eating this for quite a long time now. We actually had the ducks on the Christmas turkey, which was just unreal. So here is the ducks buffalo. Really, really nice. I loved, I loved the ducks buffalo. Um, wild game, nice as well. You've used that on chips before. Um, all meat, that's what we use on the turkey, and I think this is barbecue, smoky barbecue. We used this on chips last night for tea, and it tasted banging. Um, we've also got some more, uh, we've also got some more, well that smells nice, it smells like, it smells like lavender. It looks like it's been leaking a little bit. We've got all-in-one gun cleaner, I um, showed that last time, but also we've got a new toy. We've got, it all smells like lavender now. <laughs> We've got a new toy. So back along, I ordered this just for a joke. And this is a duck cooler. <coughs> Doesn't sound like a duck. It sounds like shit. Um, but this is an actual duck cooler. This is one made from uh, ducks. It's got a nice little ducks uh, duck head on there and then that. But this one sounds... This one sounds so much better. <coughs> I, I obviously got to learn how to, um, to, to, do, to master this, but listen to this. <coughs> Doesn't even sound like a duck. This <coughs> sounds so much better. And obviously you got like that. <coughs> All depends. Oh look, look who's decided to join me. Oh, come on, up you come. Woo. This is my dog. This is my dog. I've been trying to get her in the whole video. Oh, you don't want to be in the video, do you? This is my dog. Skade. Little, little nemesis you are. Siberian Husky. Right, down you go. Come on. There you go. Into my duck stuff. Right, leave him. Where are you going? You leave him. Right, go on. Here we go. Good girl. See, she's already trained. When she hears that, She'll come running in the door. Um, I've actually used this on my ducks out in the out in the farm, um, and they they respond back um, just about. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a duck cooler. I will be doing a video soon um, on cheap versus expensive duck cooler and just overall if it works. So that was a good purchase as well. Um, next in the box, we have got ah here. My new shotgun bag. Uh, let me just unclip that. New shotgun bag. Here is the Ducks Waterfowl Camo. So it's the same camo as this. Oh, hello again. You're back in again. Oh, look at the thing. Um, so this is the Ducks Waterfowl um, shotgun gun case. You could also guess you could use this as a rifle case. But this is amazing. This one cost me, I think it was $80, but 
it was on sale so it was like $60 but I love this gun case matches everything I also did get the um, gun the gun um, what was it called it wasn't the gun bag it was the um, blind bag but they've accidentally sent me the wrong one so here is the blind bag there's something else in there this is the blind bag I was meant to receive the blind bag, which was obviously in that camo, but I received the green one. Got nothing nothing wrong with the green one. Um, the green one was less than the camo one, um, but the green one has this rubber button and the other one didn't. Uh, I haven't received a response at all why I was sent this by mistake. Um, I mean, this is the second time now because I actually did... Um, what did I do? I'm gonna take that uh, gun cleaner out because it does does look to be leaking. Let me just screw it up. Um, joggers. I had joggers, but they were meant to be black. But I received the camo, uh, not the camo, the the olive olive green ones. Nothing wrong with them, but yeah, that's quite disappointing. Um, oh well, I'm I'm gonna make this work because I do I do like this bag. So you've got uh, you undo this. You've got some nice storage in the bag. You know, it's, it's quite big, so you can fit quite a lot of shotgun shells in there. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's a, re it's a really nice bag. I like it. I'm going to be using this for when I go off hunting and shooting and that. Uh, shove a couple clay rounds in there. Uh, shove a couple boxes of shotgun shells. Yeah, that is that. All right, on to my next bag. I think it's probably best if I just turn it all over right so what have we got in here i think we've got a sticker i think i put both of my, have i got both the stickers in here what's that what is that oh that's just rubbish i got a sticker here which is just the ducks waterfowl co uh logo in white i'm going to stick that on my new prepper vehicle um that's going to be launched soon so nice new nice sticker sticker there that's going to be um used soon here is my new jumper i absolutely love this jumper again i've got too many jumpers but the camo is um ducks uh absolutely love the, uh, the jumper I, I this is all i wear now this is literally all i wear is this jumper or, or well all, the, all these jumpers I wear them down the shop um can't wear them to work but I wear them everything, everywhere I go, I wear them. Here is the Ducks um, black, the black uh, sweatpants. These, this is what I was meant to receive first. I was meant to have two of these, but obviously I got sent the um, olive ones. Um, but now I've got black and olive, which is good. I'm not going to get them out because I think I did show the olive ones in the previous uh, cut. But yeah, really, really nice. Um, I will probably order more of these. Uh, yeah, really nice, comfy. They're not very warm because you're meant to wear them underneath um, something. I uh, haven't tried that underneath anything yet, but uh, we'll give it a go shortly. And the last item is this duck's coat. So this coat is the same as my jumper. So everything matches, really. This coat cost was, well, it was $180, but then I got it for $100. And I thought, I'm grabbing it. I love this coat. I'm in love with it. I uh, wasn't sure on the sizes again, because obviously the US sizes. I risked it for an extra large. It fits me perfect. I can wear a jumper underneath. Um, I'm usually a large in coats. Well, my North Face one, I'm a large. Um, but I can't really do, do it all the way up. This, I can get it done with um, if it's great. Uh, it is amazing. I, I love it. I've worn it on a dog, dog walk. Uh, yesterday and it was just perfect You've got a nice embroidered ducks logo there um, it is the best coat I've ever got it's super super warm it's nice it is waterproof and what I like about it it's got the little thumb hole things if I can find them it's got like the an inner inner jacket so when you put your hand through you've got a little thumb hole so you can have it like that, uh, love this coat. This is definitely recommend if anyone's trying to buy this coat, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, 100%, 150%, let's say. This is awesome, I love this coat. Um, well, and the same with all these items, I love all these items. 
But yeah, that is pretty much um, it for the video. Um, there isn't really much more for me to say. Uh, yeah, I've spent a lot of money. I came to about $1,000. Um, but this is what I wanted to do. I love this clothing. Clothing is all I wear. I've actually got underneath here, I think I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Ducks, uh, a Bucks t-shirt. See, it's all I wear. All I wear. The only thing I don't wear at the moment is the sweatpants because um, they're not the type of ones I would wear out in public at the moment. They're the ones, well, I wear usually Nike Traxi bottoms, but these are the polyester ones. They're cotton ones. I don't like cotton ones out and about because they just look trashy to me. Um, I like the sweatpant um, polyester ones. Uh, but yeah, they are, I will wear them at some point. I wear them around the house usually. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Sorry I haven't uploaded. I mean, it's probably been about a month since I uploaded again. Uh, just not, just haven't got time again. Uh, especially opening this business. I just had two weeks off of work. This is actually my last day, so uh, Friday. Um, back to work Monday. And yeah, I haven't made any videos. I was planning on doing some live streams. Also planning on going shooting. Uh, last weekend, which didn't happen because we obviously, well, we opened, we opened the new shop. Um, yeah. Oh, well, well, I, I will um, upload some more videos. Obviously, I got this stuff from, from my good friend, uh, Steve and Amy, over at the Nuclear Family. Uh, there's a box down here, which I still need to get to. I will get to it if you're watching, Steve. Um, it's just going to take a little bit of time. Obviously, I've got Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow, I am busy because I'm down the shop. Sunday, I am also looking at a new farm. So there might be a new farm in the picture instead of the backyard, backyard farm. There might be a new farm. Um, so yeah, maybe there might be a new farm. Uh, but I will get, get round to it, Steve, and you can have it back. I'm just really sorry, because I've had that since like October, maybe, maybe, um, no, I've had it, I've had it for ages, probably had it almost a year now. Um, so I'm really sorry. Uh, but I will get to it. Uh, so yeah, um, the proper build car is on its way. Uh, I just need to get paid. Actually, I just need to get paid and clear some debt. Uh, obviously, what the business has caused me. Um, and that's that. Met my dog. Uh, I think I have showed the lead and I showed the bowls as well. I showed. I think I showed a video of her drinking the bowl, eating something out of the bowl. Love the bowls, everything. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.